Welcome back, my dear friends. Uh, this is Unit 1, Part 2. It's about the structures of the grammar. Okay. The grammar today is about uh, should and shouldn't. How to use should and should. Okay. Giving advice using should or shouldn't. Okay. The first point here, we're going to talk about giving advice. How to give advice. First of all, of course, we know that we use should or shouldn't plus infinitive. For example, tourists should wear sunglasses when it is very hot. Should wear sunglasses. The second example, you shouldn't watch too much TV. You shouldn't watch. Shouldn't watch. And the third one, you should do exercise every day you should do exercise every day so we use the here should or shouldn't plus infant this is how to give an advice what about asking for advice if we want to ask for advice we have three forms to ask for advice for like the first one here what should i do or how can i plus infinitive or should subject infinitive we have here some examples for these forms like the first one, what should I do when my teeth hurts? What should I do when my teeth hurts? Sorry, my teeth hurt. The second one, how can I? How can I go to the permits? I'm asking for advice, which, which uh, transport is the best? How can I go to the permits by car or by bus? I don't know, give me your advice. The third one, should we go to the park? I'm taking my friend's opinion. Should we go to the park? Okay, so this is how to give advice and ask for advice. What about the answering? If someone gave you an advice, uh, so you should answer him by accepting or refusing. If you accept the advice, you can say, thanks, I know I should, or you're right. If you refuse the advice, you can say, I'll see, or I'll think about that that's about the grammar i think it's very easy structure today so here we have uh, some sentences we uh, will deal with this these sentences as a rewrite uh, exercise the first one you should see a doctor in bracket safe you should see a doctor in bracket safe both the video if you need time to think okay the answer yes it will be if i were you i would see a doctor if i were you i would see a doctor do you remember we said before that we can use the second conditional clause with if to give advice if i were you i would see a doctor the second sentence خلي بالك ان انا مدي لك الجمله يعتبر وعكسها يعني انا بيقول لي if i were you i wouldn't waste my time in brackets shouldn't عكس الاولى الاولى انا مدي لك should ما عايز if in brackets التانية أنا مدي لك if why shouldn't in brackets okay so the answer it will be you shouldn't waste your time you shouldn't waste your time the third sentence you shouldn't get up late you shouldn't get up late in brackets advise the verb advise so the answer yes will be I advise you not to get up late I advise you not to get up late the next sentence of course it will be the opposite as we said before I advise you to study hard in brackets should so the answer yes it will be you should study hard you should study hard the next sentence you shouldn't go to bed late you shouldn't go to bed late in brackets bitter pause the video don't forget okay to think about the answer yes the answer will be you had better not go to bed late you had better not go to bed late the next one it will be the opposite of course you had better look for another job you had better look for another job in brackets should so how can you do this sentence yes 
you should look for another job. You should look for another job. The next one, you should do exercise to keep fit. You should do exercise to keep fit. In brackets, the word idea. Think about it. Yes. Yes, it will be. It is a good idea to do exercise to keep fit. It is a good idea to do exercise to keep fit. The next one, and I think this is the last one, it is a good idea not to go out now. It is a good idea not to go out now. In brackets, shouldn't. So, it's very easy. It will be, you shouldn't go out now. You shouldn't go out now. Okay, the next exercise, or the next slide, sorry, is about language functions. And it is very, very important. The same as the grammar. Okay? Language functions here, we have the first point here. It's about asking for recommendations. How to ask for recommendations. If you don't know what to do about something, you can ask your friends to give you a recommendation. We have here four forms to ask for recommendations. The first one, where, for example, do you suggest subject infinitive? The second form, do you recommend plus a gerund or noun? The third one, what's the best place to plus infinitive? And the fourth form, is there a good place to plus infinitive? Okay, let's check the examples here. The first one. For example, where do you suggest we start? Where do you suggest and subject and the infinitive? Okay, where do you suggest we start? The second one, or the second form, do you recommend plus a gerund or noun. For example, do you recommend gerund going to the cinema? Do you recommend going to the cinema? We can say it in another way. We can say, do you recommend the cinema? For example. Okay, number three. What's the best place to plus infinitive? So it will be, what's the best place to plus infinitive buy. What's the best place to buy souvenirs? And the last one, is there a good place to plus infinitive? For example, is there a good place to, sorry, is there a good place to get infinitive? To get a guidebook? Is there a good place to get a guidebook? This is about how to ask for recommendations. What about giving recommendations? The same as we said about advice, ask for advice, giving advice, and so on. Giving recommendations here, we have also four. We have also here four forms to think about. Okay. The first form, I suggest that plus subject infinitive or a gerund. We can use a subject infinitive or a gerund. I recommend plus a noun or subject infinitive. The best place to infinitive is and the last one you can infinitive at any place. Let's check the examples here. The first one. I suggest that we visit the zoo. We said before, if we have the verb suggest or recommend, then we have another subject here, so we should use, or we must use the infinitive, like visit here. I suggest that we visit the zoo. And we said before that the word that, it doesn't matter if you put it or not. Look at the second, look at the second one. I suggest going, because here we don't have another or a second subject. The second form I recommend. For example, I recommend a tour guide. Here we use here the noun, our tour. I recommend a tour with a guide. But the second example here, I recommend you buy. We have here a second subject, so we use here the infinitive. I recommend you buy a guidebook. The next form, the best place to. 
So we can say the best place to buy souvenirs is Khan al Khalil, for example. And the last one or the last form, you can infinitive at place. You can buy a guidebook at the tourist information center. This is the four forms about how to give recommendations. So we 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 talked here about asking for recommendations and giving recommendations. That's for the first unit, unit one visitors to Egypt. What about the exercises? We have here the first exercise. I think it is a new kind for you. It's about write what would you say in each of the following situations. The this exercise is about situations, the mawakif. For the exercise that هتركز كويس في الموقف تشوف نفسك انت بتسال ولا بترد هتحط نفسك في الموقف وهتشوف ردك هيكون ايه او سؤالك هيكون ايه let's check the first one the first one your friend is going outside it's raining imagine imagine that your friend is going outside and it's raining what would you say to your friend yes i can say to him i recommend you take an umbrella or if i were you i would stay at home okay the next one, number two, your friend forgot to do his English homework. The listener starts in five minutes. What should we say or what would you say in this situation to your friend? Yes, I can say it to him. I suggest that you tell the teacher before the listener starts. I suggest that you tell the teacher. I suggest telling the teacher before the listener starts. Number three, your younger brother wants to look at the sun. I think it is harm or it can hurt you, uh, your eyes. So we can say to our younger brother, you shouldn't do that, you will hurt your eyes. You shouldn't do that, you will hurt your eyes. Number four, your friend fell over when she was playing sport. Now it is... Uh, sorry, now it hurts when she walks. She fell, and now it hurts when she walks. What can, uh, what would you say to her? If I were you, I would see a doctor. This is the first answer. The second answer, you should take a rest. خلي بالك انت اي اجابة في سؤال السيتويشن هتكتبها متعلقة بالحاجة اللي مديهالك السيتويشن مديهولك صح. احنا بنحاول نكتب اجابات تمشي مع اليونت بتاعتنا. لكن في الامتحان اخر السنه او نص السنه الاجابه اللي هتكتبها تمشي مع السيتويشن صح طبعا ما فيهاش كلام تاني نمبر 5 there is a small fire in your washing machine your younger brother gets some water is it right is it right to pour, to pour water on electrical items like washing machine so what would you say here yes you shouldn't pour water on electrical items. You shouldn't pour water on electrical items. It's dangerous. You can point. You could put here a comma uh, instead of this full stop and write. It is dangerous. Okay. The next exercise. Choose. I think it's. You know. You know this exercise. The first one here. I went to the police. Mm, uh, to report that someone stole my car. Police what? A police stop or police station, police position, police situation. Okay, the answer, police station. Number two. A space came to our house late at night. Who came to our house? A visit, a visitor, a visiting, a visited. Of course, a visitor. Number three, young people like to stay in a yacht hostel because it is, do you remember we said in the definition, why? Because it is inexpensive, expensive, pouring, or ugly. Yes, inexpensive. Number four, it is a good idea to go when surfing. Do you remember this sport when surfing? When it is, what do you need to do this sport? When it is dry, windy, wet, or hot.
Of course, we need windy, a wind weather. So the answer, windy. Number five. A space is a market or a group of shops. What is this place? We said that in the, in the definition also. In, in this slide, we said it was the first word, I think. A store, a bar, a stool, a bazaar. Of course, a bazaar. Number six. When you arrive in Hargada, you can mm, a boat trip around that city. I told you, don't forget the verb make or take. Take a boat trip, make a boat trip, stay by. The answer? Yes, take a boat trip. Number seven. When you travel, don't forget to buy mm, uh, to remember this place. When you travel, what do you want to buy to remember this place? A souvenir? Sources? Surrounds? Scores? Of course, souvenirs. Number eight. Our teacher, Mr. Samir, likes to stand in on at the middle of the class. Which preposition? Yes, in the middle of the class. Nine. Space is a water sport that uses equipment so that you can breathe under the water, in the water. You can breathe in the water. Which is sport? Swimming, snorkeling, windsurfing, sailing. You put your head under the water, so it will be snorkeling. 10. Tourists like to many photos when they visit Egypt. I think it's an easy one. Write many photos, paint, draw, take. Of course, take many photos, take photos, you'll talk it so. 11. When I go to Hergada, I'll go on the water. On, not in. I'll go driving, snorkeling, windsurfing, scuba. Which sport of these sports here we can do on the water? Windsurfing. 12. All scientists do experiments to out to what out? We need a verb here. New things or information. To discover out, invent out, find out, know out. You remember Yaktashif? Yes, find out. 13. You shouldn't space too much in the sun. You shouldn't what? You shouldn't walking? Walked, walks, walk. Shouldn't plus infinitive, so the answer walk. You should definitely space when surfing. You should definitely try, trying, tried, tries. We have here should also, so we need infinitive try. 15. When you arrive in Hergada, you space go to the uh, tourist information center. You have had, should, would, pause the video and think, should, 16, Pasmala, you space forgot your box when you go to school, shouldn't, didn't, should, wouldn't, you shouldn't forget, 17, it isn't a good idea to play with matches. You space play with matches. الجملة الثانية تعتبر تعتبر explanation للجملة ال الأولى. فإحنا هنا هنحتاج verb برضو اللي هو هيبقى shouldn't, should, could, couldn't. Of course, shouldn't. Eighteen. What should I to be fit? Asking for recommendation. Do you remember it? What should I do? Did, doing, done. What should I do? 19. Samira, space never wastes her time to get high marks. Take care of this word here. Never. Samira shouldn't, mustn't, should, is. Yes, should, because we have that this word here, never. But we can say the this sentence here, Samira shouldn't waste her time without the word never. And the last one, number 20, space, see a doctor today. 
he should should he he shouldn't he uh, shouldn't sorry it's the same I wouldn't sorry wouldn't yes take care look at your question mark here لازم تتأكد كويس أو تقرأ كويس وتشوف الحاجة اللي عندك a sentence or uh, a question this is a question form so we will use short here the next exercise rewrite I think we practiced it before the first one I advise you to take many photos in Hurgada in brackets you should you should take many photos in her gather number two it is best to visit the place early in the morning in brackets should both the video and answer them yet yeah, the answer you should visit that place early in the morning number three it's a good idea for her to go to the tourist information center first. In brackets, she should. The answer? She should go to the tour tourist information center first. Number four. They had better go to bed early and get up early. In brackets, should. Of course, the answer will be they should go to bed early and get up early don't but should twice here in this sentence عشان في ناس بشوفها بتكتب they should go to bed early and should get up early مش محتاجين بابا الكلام ده هنكتب should they should go to bed early and get up early number five you should see a doctor in brackets I advise you اعتقد ان احنا عملنا حاجات زي كده كتير yes the answer I advise you to see a doctor. Number six. When you go to Luxor, I think you should visit the museum. In brackets, recommend. Here we can uh, make this sentence at this one here, this answer. When you go to Luxor, I recommend you visit the museum. We have here another answer. We can say, when you visit Luxor, I recommend visiting the museum. And we can uh, replace this, uh, the, the phrases or the sentence here. I can say, I recommend you visit the museum when you go to Luxor. Number seven. If I were you, I would stop smoking. In brackets, shouldn't. You shouldn't smoke. You shouldn't smoke. Take care. Shouldn't plus infinitive. Don't write you shouldn't smoking. You shouldn't smoke. Okay. Take care of this one here. Okay, this, it was the first, uh, the first unit here, Visitors to Egypt, with my best wishes. Thank you. See you next time.